The submarine represents the little horn. The little horn is the beast from the bottomless pit. Daniel 7 verse 8, the name on the sub was Ocean Gate. The ocean is the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit is hell. The ocean is the gate to hell. Hell is where the beast ascends from. Ocean Gate. Revelation 13 verse 1. The beast is a little g god. He is a titan, which was the name of the sub. That titan is a cyclops. This is why the sub had one eye for a seeing port, which represents a cyclops. Ocean Gate even named one of its subs Cyclops. This cyclops is a giant, like the Titanic. An iron giant. There were giants in the earth in those days. As in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. The Titanic and the submarine are one. They represent the same thing. The beast. One day, that beast will re-emerge from the sea. The Bible says the beast was, is not, and yet is, and the world will wonder after the beast, Revelation 17 verse 8. The Titanic is coming back. The missing people are coming back. They went into the bottomless pit and will re-emerge one day and shock the world. They went into a portal. The portal of hell. And like those who went into the Bermuda Triangle. One day, they'll come back. They're all coming back. When the beast rises from the sea. The sea is hell. The word sea means sea, as in the eye. Hell is in the eye. In the dark bottomless pit of the pupil, in the deep soul of man. Hell is the bowels of the earth. In the sewer. This is why they placed a toilet at the seeing port of the sub, at the front of the ship. The toilet is in the eye. The beast is Beelzebub, the dung god, who will emerge from the eye. A video game controller controlled the sub. This is because the beast kingdom will be a video game. A kingdom of virtual reality. Virtual reality headsets make people look like Cyclops from the X-Men. Virtual reality merges two eyes into one eye, like a cyclops. The beast kingdom will be a kingdom that mixes fantasy and reality. A kingdom that mixes this world and technology. A kingdom that mixes iron and clay. Transhumanism. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Daniel 2 verse 43. Jack is the devil. The Joker. The pilot Jack flag was flown on the Titanic. The Titanic is Jack. Leonardo DiCaprio played Jack in the Titanic. He represented the Antichrist who sank into the sea, the bottomless pit. Rose represented humanity. She represented mankind. Jack was the iron. Rose was the clay. The Iron Beast's kingdom will mix with miry clay. Transhumanism. Virtual reality. A rose represents the brain, the mind. The devil is after the mind. Jack wants rose. In the movie, Jack said he's the king of the world. Meaning he's the coming antichrist. The Beast's kingdom will be a kingdom of illusion. The Carbonaro Effect is a TV show about illusion. The sub was made of carbon. The sub represents illusion. The beast kingdom will be a kingdom of illusions. What we see will not be real. But the world will think it's real. The beast will trick their minds the same way virtual reality is beginning to trick their minds. It will feel so real to them. Missing people from the Bermuda Triangle who come back will only be a virtual reality illusion. The lost crew members from the Titanic coming back will only be a virtual reality illusion. And those five from the sinking sub coming back, just an illusion. A strong delusion. To a world that rejects Christ. And just how the stone cut out without hands destroyed the Titanic, and the sub crushed, so will God do to the beast kingdom. This is the meaning of the sinking submarine. All glory to the Lord Jesus Christ.